Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the countdown for Ark Survival Evolved and something I really think it could be. It would be absolutely amazing if it turns out to be this guys and it's this in this video it's not confirmed or anything it hasn't been confirmed by devs but a lot of stuff is sort of piecing together like a puzzle which is why I think this is why what I'm going to be talking about in today's video is what the countdown is going to be. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It really, really does help me out, and I want to thank you guys always for supporting. It means so much to me. But apart from that, let's just get straight in with today's video. Now, if you saw uh, my video three days ago, it was actually talking about a potential um, Ark Survival Evolved and Jurassic World sort of partnership for this countdown, you know, which we all think is going to be the DLC Extinction. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I have just gone to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which came out yesterday in the UK, and I saw it yesterday, and it was an amazing film. And don't worry, there won't be any spoilers in this video. I will just be telling you guys why some of the things link to why Ark Survival Evolved could have this as a third DLC. Now, the reason why I said um, I've, the no spoilers, because I know, I think a lot of you guys, um, obviously, in the US have got it coming out on the 22nd of June, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong there, but let me know in the comments down below. Um, and as I said, don't worry, there won't be any spoilers. But, so, the main thing why it led me to think it was going to be sort of a Jurassic Park, uh, well, Jurassic World um, sort of partnership is because of the first thing we saw, which was Life Finds a Way. Now, as you guys know, as I explained in that video, um, the guy who's uh, who who was in Jurassic Park and came back from the new Jurassic World, um, he you know his famous quote was always "Life finds a way," and uh, that is what Wildcard used. Now, a lot of people said you know Wildcard ju could just be. Um, you know, could just be saying this just because, like, Jurassic World's coming out and they're trying to sort of ride off some of the hype with the uh, with the film. But then I saw recently that Rocket League have actually secured a deal with Jurassic World for a new sort of um, pack on the game where you can get, like, different uh, car wraps and everything for Jurassic World and there's an advert for it for where the T-Rex is chasing it. And I just think to myself, if Rocket League have got this coming out, then why wouldn't Ark Survival Evolved, a massive dinosaur game, Game, take the opportunity to join with Jurassic World. Now, another reason why um, I have now sort of decided to make this video and it's come to my conclusion this is what I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be the Extinction DLC, but as you guys know from the trailers and stuff, as again, no spoilers, the world is um, um, on the dinosaur island of Jurassic World is exploding, you know, the volcanoes erupting and everything, and that is what is meant to lead on to the name Extinction, which is the third DLC for Ark, which is why, again, is there's a huge link there of the whole island island exploding and you have to save the dinosaurs and that's why life needs to try and find its way which is again the slogan of the uh, the picture and then there was a massive thing when I was watching the film that really, really sort of, like, I was thinking so much about Ark when I was watching the film. And it really hit me when um, one of the one of the dinos that a lot of you guys have seen from the picture, which you said is going to be coming out, which I'm so bad with names. It's the um, the one on the picture. I'll put, I'll put it on the screen right now, the picture. On the left side, which you guys will see um, right now on the screen, which is something like... Uh, like a uh, Stygimalok. I have no. I, I cannot say it. I've tried. I've tried pronouncing it before the videos. But it's the thing with the big rock as a head and it uses it like a ram, basically, to break through things. Now, as I've said, there hasn't been any spoilers. That is massively involved within the film of Fallen Kingdom. Um, it's, it's, it's not hugely involved, but there's a big part of it in there. And it's very interesting to why Wildcard would show this off. And the exact same picture that is in the countdown um, on, the, on your screen is the exact same picture that is used within Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And as soon as I saw that, I thought Ark Survival Evolved straight away. Now again, I'd, I don't want to say any more spoilers, but there's a very, very big scene in there as well with the Brachiosaurus in the film, um, which if you guys have watched, uh, if you guys from the UK have watched it or from anywhere else um, in the world that you've if you've seen the film, um, you guys will obviously know about that massive scene. And again, on the right of the screen, on the uh, countdown, you will see a Brachiosaurus on there as well. 
Now, there was another one which I definitely think was involved with the film as well, and it's another dino I will have no idea of saying, the trike-looking-like thing, which uh, was the Styracosaurus. I think I may have got that one right, but I don't know. That, again, was in uh, um, uh, in Jurassic World, which is, again, another thing which is... I know all dinos could just be in there, but they all play quite big parts in the film as well, and there's a lot showed off to there um, in the actual, you know, when the volcano is erupting and everything. And if we look at the picture and the countdown, it clearly, I mean, lots of people are saying that this is just a sunset, it's just the sun, but it could potentially be an explosion. You really don't know, a meteor that's come down, or maybe Wildcard will do the same with a volcano, just like in the film. There's so many different possibilities that could happen there, and this is why I think that they are definitely going to do this. If Wildcard don't end up taking up on this opportunity to have a massive brand of Jurassic World just coming out, um, you know, if in the US it will be it will be a couple, a bit about a week after that, um, if I'm right with that day. And you know, still so many people are going to watch it, not just on the release day. Having this as their big brand for the third DLC, I would be so shocked if Rocket League can do it, which is again is a very big game. I would say Ark Survival Evolved is, is bigger or about the same as Rocket League. I don't really know. I may get slightly in the comments for saying that but I, I just I just think that that it would be a massive opportunity for the game to miss out so I'd like to hear in the comment section down below what you guys think about this if you agree um, you know because I want to hear from your, your opinions as well if you've seen the film um, I don't want to don't give away too many spoilers or anything in the comment section down below because I don't want you know this video to end up ruining the film for anyone that hasn't seen it or you know where it hasn't been released because it is a very good film I don't want to turn this video into a film review but for anyone worrying it is a good film so don't worry about that I was actually gonna upload a review on my channel but I just didn't because I, again, I don't want to ruin it for people, but there are some huge links going on there right now for Ark Survival Evolved, and it's too much of a big opportunity to miss out. Now, how do you think, guys, how do you think this DLC could work with, you know, the extinction? We know that there, you know, the name of it says everything. There must be the end, and we know it's the final DLC, so we know this, there must be, like, a huge explosion that, that could wipe everything out. How will it end off? I'm having a feeling that you're going to have to try and save everything, and things are breaking, you've got to do so much, and you've got all your dinos with you, and, I don't know, there's, like, huge explosions happening around you, and you've got to try and escape everywhere and I just think that this by doing this it could again bring a lot of players back to the game because everyone's going to want to try this sort of again limited time campaign type of thing and if they make the map really awesome as well that will bring back a lot of players because we had Ragnarok which again was a fantastic DLC but there was um, because the map was massive it was something different because you know it was you know 10 times bigger than the island but it, well, there was just so many problems with it, with lag, with loads of diff, you know, under mapping on it was ridiculous and stuff. And that's, you know, a lot of problems like that. As much as it sounds great what I'm talking about right there, they need to make sure if this is going to be a big map on Earth, that all those in-game issues are sorted, which I know is what they're working on. And I think that was a great time for them to start working on that as it is coming up to this final DLC. So let me know, as I said in the comment section down below, your opinions on this. And a lot of people have been saying they don't think this is going to be the last DLC. But there has been rumours around that there's going to be an Ark Survival Evolved 2. And people are saying this could be a bad idea for the game and it's annoying, why would they do this? But maybe that is something that Ark Survival Evolved needs to do to refresh their game. This was their first big titled game, you know, out there. It was their first, you know, as, as a smaller dev company, well, smaller devs, I mean, in a, in a smaller company. And um, maybe they, if they did release an Ark Survival Evolved 2 after this, they can make sure they've had, you know, they, they create a brand new amazing game that isn't, you know, hasn't had got any of the problems that they, you know, started off with because they didn't know how to do it from the beginning. Now, there's so many arguments that could come off of that, and I don't really want to start a massive long story talking about Ark Survival Evolved 2. I'll leave that for another day, um, because this video is mainly just talking about Extinction and what I think the... Uh, you know the the story behind this is and uh, it's very interesting to find out so i definitely think we are going to be finding some big news on that only a week away now guys seven days so i cannot wait 
Now, this is the end of the video now, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, as always, make sure to drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And have those notifications turned on, guys. Because whenever I upload a video, which I, you know, I usually try and get one up every day. Sometimes I don't, but I try my best to. Especially if there's news there to do, they'll be, always be there. Your phone or whatever will show you as soon as I upload. So you won't miss out on any news. But thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you a lot in my next video. See you guys later.